In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create custom templates that then can be exported and shared with others like pastors. So when they're creating their teaching notes, they can have the correct template and have everything they need to make it look great. Now, the first and most important thing is to create a great looking template. So I've created a slide here. We have some text on it. We have a place for a reference. You'll also notice I have some directions here on uh, how to utilize this title graphic that I've inserted as well. Now, this sample series template will be available at churchmediadrop.com on the tutorial page. Now please note that the document we're about to look at is a standard ProPresenter document. This was created like all other ProPresenter documents by going to File New. There's nothing special about it, I've just added text and graphics to make it look the way it does. So let's look at how I created this and how you can create your own and some things to keep in mind along the way. So first let's go to the editor and in here you'll notice that I have some very specific text and this is instructions for the person receiving this file on how to save this template and utilize it. I would highly recommend including this text and again you can download this file at churchmediadrop.com so you don't have to type this all in yourself. But basically I've gone through and I've made sure my text looks the way that I want it to. I've set my sizing, my color, you can go in and add shadows, all of that stuff I can set in here. Now one thing to keep in mind is all fonts need to be installed on all machines. You can't send a font in a template file. So if you're using a weird font that the other person isn't going to have, then you're going to run into issues. So make sure you're utilizing fonts that everyone has available or install them on the other computers. The next thing to keep in mind is the naming of these text boxes and the order of them. So first we're going to name them. So I've named this Capital Bible Space Capital Text. And for the reference, we've named it Capital Bible Space Capital Reference. And then over here under our object settings, you'll notice that my Bible text is the highest layer and my Bible reference is the second highest layer. Now this is really important because when you apply the template, if these are out of order, it's going to try to take this text and put it in this box because it's highest in order, and it will try to take this text and put it in this box because it's lowest in order. So we need to make sure that those are there as well. The next thing that's super important is that templates cannot have background graphics. They have to be slide objects. So this is really easy to fix. I've applied a background cue as you can see here, but all I have to do is right click on it and say convert media to slide element. And we can now convert that over. If I go back to the editor, you'll see that this is now actually an object on here instead of a background graphic. And now that will save with the template and be applied every single time. So now we can uh, save this document out. So we can just right click. We export a ProPresenter bundle. That way it includes all media in here and uh, we're good to go. So we can export this out and we would be fine. Now let's look at actually saving this and following the instructions and see how it works. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to template and I'm going to save selected slides as template group. We're just going to call this sample. And now I can go down to my sample series that has no formatting. I can go to template, go down to sample, and we're going to apply our sample series. And you'll see that it's going to format all of my text and it's going to add the background to it just like we want it to. This will also work for Bibles. So if we go to Bibles and we can go in here and we can select a template in here. So again, we're going to go to sample choose this and you'll see that all the formatting is showing up right the reference is going into the right spot everything works great we can uh, copy this to the current document you know and everything's looking exactly the way we want it to so now we have a successful template that will be easily utilized by anyone so again you can download this template at the tutorial page at churchmediadrop.com thanks for watching